Pisces, welcome back. We are going to do a love read for you today. We are going to start with zodiac signs, Aries through Pisces. See what that specific sign could be thinking, feeling. Keep in mind the roles can be reversed. If it is not your story, acknowledge. Move on. Check your other placements. So, starting with Aries. Pisces dealing with an Aries. What is the Aries thinking, feeling at this time source? Okay, so this person's manipulating, and I really feel like it's almost like they're trying to prove a point here. Okay, but I... Mm -mm. Let's get one more. One more. One more. Could be too many people involved. I mean, it mm, could be somebody that's a drinker, too. Just going to toss it out there and get that feeling. All right, Taurus. If you're dealing with the Taurus, it's the Taurus thinking, feeling... Okay. All right. Also, a heavy fire and a lover. This could be a connection that just went south for them, but they're trying to avoid it. So still up in their head dealing with something else. Gemini, 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 Gemini. Okay. So this person, very emotional. They feel like a decision's been made for them or they're finally seeing things clearly about somebody that they had a lot of emotion for, okay? This is kind of a very sappy type person. One more. Five of wands. Okay, it, too much drama there. Let it go. All right. Cancers. Cancer, 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 cancers. Some here for cancer source. Mm. So the cancer really does, I, I think you're going to start getting some messages. Something positive, okay? They have very stable plans or they're financially a little bit more abundant, but this is new messaging. New, flirty, very flirty, a lot of passion. All right, Leo. We switch when we get to Libra. Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay, they need to drop some burdens. They got too much shit going on. And they feel like they're all alone handling it by themselves. So there isn't really much communication with this person. They're all up in their head. Can be trying, you know, trying to move on from something emotional or try to move somebody else's direction like an ex. Okay, but there is passion here for a new beginning. Be careful with that one because I don't think they're letting on to everything that's going on in their, their background. In their closets, they got shit going on. Virgo. Virgo. One more. All right, I think the Virgo... They're holding back something. I don't know if they're still connected to somebody with the King of Pentacles here because you got the Seven of Swords, it's upright, and you don't know everything about a situation that could be either holding back or full of shit. But with the Seven of Cups, they're wishy-washy and still confused about things. All right, moving this deck out of the way. Grab them fresh, and we will start on a Libra's. Source, Pisces dealing with a Libra. Dealing with the Libra. Okay. So how the Libra is looking at you is emotionally holding back, but they still really want to come your direction. They're trying not to... They might come in too spontaneous, too fast, and impulse. they're impatient as hell. can be a little bit arrogant. It's like, I want to get what I want. I'd be careful with that one. Because it's like they're either not going to give you everything and make it seem like they are going to. Can be an Aquarius as well. Heavy on the air sign. Scorpio. We have a Scorpio source. Okay, so they're dropping some of the conflict. This one kind of came out sideways. But now there can be a pregnancy going on here. But they're all up in their head. There's conflict. They need to either drop shit and know that if they want something with you that they need to, uh-oh, get out of another relationship. Be careful with that, Scorpio. 
there's mental confusion going on there. I wouldn't trust that one one damn bit. The Empress showing up with the tower. Oh. If you get involved with that person, you might be coming a home wrecker without even knowing it. That's for singles. Okay. Sag. Okay, so this is somebody that you could know from your past trying to manifest a new beginning. I feel like they moved on into a different direction, at least emotionally, and right now they're hanging back. People manifest things without even realizing it. I think somebody's trying to, you know, start up with you again, and they're really thinking about it. There isn't any movement right now, so you, you probably aren't even aware of it. Doesn't really t pay to tell you about it, does it then, right? Okay. Capricorn. Two more. Two more. We'll narrow it down with the full spread here. Okay. So you have somebody that wants to have a new beginning, but something that's long term with you. This is a breakthrough and about a connection, relationship of sorts, something to celebrate. But the, you know, the Ten of Pentacles and it's upright. Abundance with family life can also be that they are just very well off, able to take care of, could have children. Aquarius. Oh, go for the Aquarius. Look at that. You got the Hierophant, so it can also be a Taurus. But they want to offer you their cup of love. This person comes very care. Oh, yeah, bottom of the deck, we have the page. So it's like they're going to start real slow. Mm -hmm. How they're viewing you. Oh, I think I like that. So they, they want to su succeed, move forward. They're seeing you as having your shit all together. They also know that you could have other suitors. But they want to offer something stable. So they're coming at you real slow. Messaging, texting, etc., all right, Pisces with the Pisces. What do we have for Pisces with a Pisces source? Ooh. So this person wants to come at you. You're going to start hearing from the, this one here. Heavy Cancer as well and Sagittarius Reverse. I think they see you as still trying to make a decision with Temperance Reversed. I feel like they're getting damn impatient. Okay. They, there's fast action, but with the Eight of Wands and the Chariot right next to each other, this person could be at a distance, okay? But there is going to be fast movement coming your way. There's, it's going to be interesting to see what we have in your full spread. Heavy Sag here, Temperance, still a need to heal. All right. Okay, Pisces, we're going to grab a fresh deck and see what is the overall energy, please, Source. Overall energy for Pisces. Had to hit the floor. You have the Emperor. Very strong card. And we are in Aries season right now. So let's see. Ooh, the three cups reversed. Needing stability. Feeling kind of discombobulated. Tell me about what Pisces energy is at this time. Pisces energy first. Ten of Pentacles, working on your money, Ten of Cups, and the Lovers. Okay. Can be a Gemini. Heavy on the Aries up there. Let me get some clarifiers. First thing you are thinking most about, Nine of Wands. They don't want to be hurt. I'll give you that much for damn sure. Oh, cripes. And the Nine of Swords reverse. So, ooh. Not ready. One more for that person's energy. This definitely, now keep in mind the roles can be reversed. I think this had to deal with a breakup or an upset in the family home. Here, let's make sure we have this right. Okay. Mutual energy for Pisces in this person or situation. Oh boy. Okay. There's things that need to be dropped, period. Both of you, I mean, this is a separation for damn sure, but with the Nine of Pentacles, it's like being single by choice. Things need to, it's like you're taking care of yourself. Devil Reverse is letting go of things that could have been toxic. I'm not going to comment on that Three of Cups just yet. Usually, you know what we say when we see 
You have a Ten of Pentacles on your side. They have a Ten of Cups on, on their side. Both wanting, in the long run, stability. Okay? They've got two nines, which is, you know, close to close to completion of, of cycles, but they don't want to be hurt. They're feeling hurt because of something. I'm wondering, with this emperor here, I'm really feeling this is fresh energy because the emperor comes up, he's like all four kings. Let's get some clarification. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles on Pisces' side. Clarify the Ten. Working on your finances. You're holding your emotions back. Oh my. Okay, so Queen of Cups, do you feel like somebody is very, very right for you? You are extremely emotional right now. You want somebody that has the same type of intuition that you do about connection. Tell me about this lovers. The lovers can come when either, well, there's a, it can be a choice to make. We got the chariot reversed. So something didn't go somewhere. Tell me about this chariot reversed. It's stuck energy. Okay, and it's because I'm feeling this is competition. I really do. Tell me about the Nine of Wands on their side. Why the Nine of Wands? Hermit. Okay, so they're going within and trying to take an emotional break from everything. Why the Nine of Swords? Four of Swords. Okay, so big time. Taking a break. It's almost like this person... I feel like their personality is a little more shy is one one word. Um, avoidant is another. Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. I mean, both of you have very similar. Yeah, they're still emotionally moving past something. Eight of Cups. That's a very difficult journey to make beyond something. So going within, it's the emotional vacay, I call it. They don't want to be hurt can be a Virgo with the Hermit here. Nine of Pentacles, both of you being single or single-ish right now, or single by choice. And it's both of your energy. I'm feeling very much like there's a new con connection that you aren't even aware of yet or vaguely aware of. Tell me about the moon. I mean, that's heavy. This is your energy. This is like a double dose of your energy over here. All right, you are the moon, Pisces, really wanting this connection with somebody. I don't know if it's somebody that you're still aware of or trying not to let go of, but you had the lovers there, a decision needing to make with the chariot right on top of it. It's held back with two fives, conflict. Why do we have so much conflict for Pisces? But you're getting beyond the conflict. It's like this can be dropped. This person wants to win at all costs, but it can be just walking away after the fight going, done. Potential outcome here between Pisces and this person. Okay. It still looks good, I gotta tell you that. Okay, so... You need to drop some of the burdens here. You get the four pentacles. That's just kind of dropping things, okay? Dropping the shit from the past, dropping all these burdens, getting rid of this feeling of defending yourself in conflict so that you can move forward. But here's what's coming. Potential outcome. You have the fool and the nine of cups. Mutual energy. Letting go of the toxic bullshit. Could be letting go of exes so that you both can get to this nine of pentacles where you're very dependent on yourselves and very secure in yourselves, okay? But you've got wish fulfillment followed with a new beginning? <sighs> Come on. That looks nice. I think both of you kind of mirroring each other, but I don't feel like this is an ex. Mm -mm. You know, if the eight of cups was reversed, maybe. Tell me about the three of cups and the overall energy. Energy, I think you're getting past a breakup. Justice can be a Libra that you have been dealing with, but Three of Cups reversed. Something didn't work well. There was too many people involved, possibly. Justice came in and put its big old fat foot down and said, that shit ain't happening. Clarify the Fool. That's new new dating that's kind of jumping into something. It's It can be impulsive, but it's an expansion of sorts. It is heavy on the Aries and a new... A new potential love. Bottom of the deck. 
Nice. Okay, so I do think you're going to have more than one. <laughs> more than one. Holy shit. More than one person by far. What you're wanting, the King of Pentacles, somebody reliable, dependent, that has everything, you know, this emperor, all four kings put together, the stability, the finances, the cuddle bug, the everything. Taking time, there's the third party card. Mm -hmm. Getting past that hurt, so you're kind of holding back a little bit. I feel like this person is the King of Swords over here because they're can be uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, heavy, heavy on the holding back, being a little more stoic, not showing a lot of emotion. But you've got the world, so wrapping up the ending of something and starting over, having a new potential. I don't feel like this is going to be tomorrow. I'm feeling more towards the end of summer. You need to, you need to go within... Talk to source. You need to manifest new beginnings. You need to drop the negative energy. Watch your thoughts and what you are thinking about. But there's good shit coming here. A brand new offer. That hurt. Okay? We all have that hurt. It sucks ass. But you're going to be feeling more like yourself pretty damn soon. I mean, messages are coming in. It's positive messages. Temperance is healing, but it's also balance. So balance after that three of swords shit. That's two threes with one being upside down. So somebody could have gotten themselves into a predicament. Mm -hmm. But most of these cards are upright. Other than things taking their sweet ass time to come to fruition. This person is holding back. Tell me more about this king of swords. Just a little more. A little more about this King of Swords. Things are going to go all right. It really... Oh, yeah. They're going to hold back a little bit. But this is... The Wheel of, Wheel of Fortune is like karma. It's destiny. It's something that's meant to be. And when the timing is right... Oh, yeah. There's the commitment. It can be a Taurus. That looks good. This is a damn nice spread. It looks a bit all over the place. But it's really showing two people on journeys... So that they can kind of meet together. Nice energy. Okay, we're going to pull out the Angel Oracle and try to get you two questions answered. So get in your mind. Pause if you need to. Question one, Source. One of two. Question one. Question one. One more shuffle. You need to trust, and there's something better, which I think is coming. Okay, that's question one. We'll even get Mr. Predicto out for a question for a third. Question number two, source. Question number two. Okay. Yeah, opportunity and within the next three few weeks three i don't know where the three came from opportunity new things coming your direction all right we're going to turn on mr Ma Ma predicto majesto question number three it cannot be determined at this time see he's just a prick i'm calling him mr prick Question three. See if he changes to anything else. Question three. There is no doubt. Okay, so it does look like... Oh, you be quiet. He doesn't like Aries, but I'll tell you what. I think he's okay with <laughs> water signs. There are new things coming. There's new opportunities. Dropping some of that baggage. The toxicity that had been there in the past for both you and this newer person are going away. They're a little burnt out right now. Mm-hmm. Really trying to drop some of the shit from the past and trying to drop a lot of the anxiety because they do want a, a... You guys have the same energy. Commitment. It's showing you wanting your counterpart. Water sign, okay? Water sign, water sign. Intuition, intuition. I think this person's personality is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to, but there's a new, there's a new balance coming in here and there is wish fulfillment, which is more on your side. So it's more what your wish fulfillment is and what you're wanting, but able to make that shit happen. This looks damn nice. 
All right, Pisces, this is what I have for you. Please do give a thumbs up, like the video. Thank you for watching and many blessings.